What's up guys? How you guys doing? This is Ray and in this video I want to talk about the digital ins and outs of your audio interface. Some of you guys out there might have an interface that doesn't have any ins and outs, any digital ins and outs. It's just going to have your connection for your speakers and your mic connections or your line inputs. That's it. But it won't have spit if in, spit if out. Now we're looking at the Project Mix I.O. and in the back we have a couple of things going on. We have world clock, spit if in, spit if out and an optical in, optical out. Now the world clock, you're going to see a more high-end gear. The spit if in, spit if out. Most interfaces out there have spit if in, spit if out. And you'll also see a lot of uh, Toslink connections. Now let's start off with the spit if in, spit if out. I'm going to ignore the world clock in this video. I just want to talk about the spit if in, spit if out and a little bit about the ADAT. So I own a Focusrite interface. And one of the cool things about this particular interface, it has the ability to be used as a standalone preamp. So I don't need to have it connect to the computer, which is pretty great. And that's kind of the way I have the setup here. I got the Focusrite Pre from the digital out, come to the digital in here. Now the only downside to using SPDIF, it could only carry two channels. The Focusrite unit that I have has multiple ends, but I'm only able to use two of those. And that's fine. Now, let's say I wanted to expand, I could use the ADAT it carries up to eight channels of audio, which is great. Now, one thing that's important, and I'm gonna show you this in just a second, since the Focusrite is my main system, so if I'm gonna load up a Pro Tools session or whatever DAW I'm going to use, if I set the session to 48K, I have to set this to 48K as well. The sync source, it's not internal here. It's following the Focusrite. So let's just dive to the computer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the window to the left is the Sapphire Mix Control. The window to the right is the M Audio Firewire Control Panel. Now, if we look at the Sapphire window, you're going to see the sample rate, the sync source, sync status. Now, let's take a look at the M Audio. So it's basically the same thing, internal, external, and world clock. So what we want to do, we want to basically change it from internal to external. And one of the most important things here that everything matches up. If you don't match things up, and I'm talking about the sample rate, you're going to have some problems. As you can see, I'm going to select external. And when I select external, it should automatically say locked because it matches. But if I change the sample rate, check it out. It's going to say mismatch. So you want to fix that. It's very important. If you don't fix that, you're gonna notice some weird things going on with your audio. So it's very important, everything is locked together. That way you won't have any issues. But listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just post in the bottom. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and always subscribe. Later guys.